uh, I bought a computer this year for my company, where does that go on my tax return? Now that's an excellent question. Uh, maybe you paid for that out of your business checkbook, which is a great idea. Um, but the interesting part is there's no line that expense doesn't go straight on your Schedule C. Since that computer is an asset, which means it lasts for more than one year, so it's gonna benefit more than just one accounting period, you have to capitalize that asset. And then you have to recognize it as an expense evenly over the life of that asset. Now, in the case of a computer, its useful life is three years. So in general, if you spent $1,500 on a new computer, you would normally get, from a straight line standpoint, $500 of an expense each year. Okay. Now, where that information is going to go, I'm going to talk a little more detail about that. I'm going to go to another IRS form here for you, which is Form uh, 4562. Now, that form is called Depreciation and Amortization. That's where you actually enter the expense related to your new computer. Okay, now that I've said all of that stuff about only expensing it evenly throughout the year, the IRS gives us some, some good accelerated depreciation options so that you can get the deduction faster, which means you get your money back from the IRS faster. So certainly something that you should look into. One example you'll see right here on the very top of this form 4562, Part one is election to expense certain property under section 179. Uh, 179 without getting into a bunch of boring tax detail and code section stuff is basically a way to expense all of the cost of the new asset right in the year that you bought it. Okay, now that can be very powerful. So if you paid $1,500 for the computer, then you should be able to get a full deduction for that computer in the first year. And what that really translates into is a bigger tax refund for the IRS recognizing that you invested in your business so they give you the deduction faster. So download this form 4562, uh, figure out whether or not you want to take that accelerated depreciation, which you certainly should, uh, in which case you'll put that information on the top part of form 4562. When you complete this form, the totals at the bottom of form 4562 will then transfer over to the very front of your Schedule C, and that's how you'll take the depreciation uh, for that new computer. And that works exactly the same for other equipment, for restaurant equipment, all of that stuff, still gonna end up on IRS form 4562. So hopefully that helps you figure out how to do the depreciation part.